Hello and welcome to Euphoria TV Breaking News. My name is Dr David Bull, I'm a medical journalist and I'm delighted to be your host for this special programme showcasing ERS 2021, the 28th Congress of the European Rhinologic Society. In a minute, I'll be talking to Professor Witzke Fockens, who is Secretary General of the ERS. She's also Professor at the Department of Otorhinolaryngology at the Academic Medical Centre in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. After that, we head over to Greece, where I'll be speaking to Professor Yanis Konstantinidis, who is Professor and Chair in the Department of Otorhinolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery at Aristotle University Thessaloniki, who is the President-elect of the ERS 2021 to 2023. The 28th Congress of the European Rhinologic Society is being held in conjunction with the 39th Congress of the International Society of Inflammation and Allergy of the Nose, or ICIAN, and the 21st Congress of the International Rhinologic Society, or IRS. It's taking place between the 26th and the 30th of September of this year in the wonderful Mediterranean waterfront city of Thessaloniki in Greece, which is an historic, multicultural and metropolitan venue on the Balkan Peninsula. The Congress promises an exciting scientific programme translating new basic knowledge to clinical practice, focusing on new diagnostic and therapeutic tools. Now, the theme is the nose across the lifespan, and it will provide fruitful and productive discussion for all rhinologists and will incorporate lectures from other subspecialities of otorhinolaryngology and allied specialties. Well, to tell us more, let's head to the Netherlands, where we're joined by Professor Witzke Fokkens. She is Secretary General of the ERS. Witzke, it's really good to see you yet again. Let me start by asking you, why do you believe this meeting in Thessaloniki will be so unique? Well, thank you for that question, David. Um, well, one, it will be the first real physical meeting we can have in two years. And I'm sure everybody is really looking forward to, uh, to meet each other again and to have real discussions in life and not just uh, by Zoom or Teams or uh, something like that. But of course, much more important is the, uh, the content of the meeting. And we're extremely happy that uh, most of the faculty that originally promised to be there in 2020 will be able to join us physically in Thessaloniki, so uh, almost all Europeans and many of the American colleagues will be there to have three days of great discussions on rhinology and everything around it. Well, I assume you're covering some pretty unique topics. So what, what sort of unique topics will this biannual ERS meeting deal with? Well, we uh, have plenary sessions that are uh, on biologics, which is very important at this moment, a, a new development for the treatment of patients, especially with type 2 disease, with, chron with chronic rhinosinusitis, sinusitis, with nasal polyps. That is a, is, is a, a paradigm shift in the, the way we can treat our patients, and it's really the first really new treatment since probably the start of having local steroids in, in the uh, end of the 70s and the 80s. So that's a, a, a thrill to, to discuss. But there is much more, of course, we will have uh, attention for uh, uh, about COVID, uh, uh, and the smell loss and all the implication that has for our patients. We will have uh, uh, interest for EPOS, for the new European position paper on rhinosinusitis. There will be lectures on facial plastic surgery. There will be instructional courses, discussions on case series. And of course, very important, our massive, large, junior member part of our uh, organization, which are about two and a half thousand junior ENT doctors, will have sessions with all sorts of educational purposes uh, within the field of rhinology. So Witzka, who is this actually aimed at and who should come to the Congress? Well, David, everybody interested in the nose, so probably by now you should come actually to, uh, to hear uh, but of course, that's a joke. What is really uh, where we're really aiming at is everybody interested in the nose. And that is, of course, ENT surgeons is an important part, but also other 
people like neurosurgeons who operate a lot with us, allergologists, pulmonologists, um, uh, but also people from basic science. And that makes uh, a meeting like this so unique that there are people from all uh, specialities contributing to our common knowledge and to uh, combine what we know to eventually come to new, better ways to take care of our patients. Which is what it is ultimately all about. Never joke with me, Witzker, either. I shall be there. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Fockins. Okay. <laughs> Well, joining me now from Greece itself is Professor Yanis Konstantinidis, who is President-elect of the European Rhinologic Society. It's very good to see you, Yanis. I'm very, very jealous you're in Greece. So let's start by uh, me asking you, why do you believe this Thessaloniki meeting will be so unique? Uh, we believe that after a two years uh, interruption of interruption of uh, scientific meetings, uh, and scientific uh, activity with participation in person, we will have uh, the opportunity to organize uh, the ERS 2021 meeting in uh, Thessaloniki end of September 26 up to 30 of September, which will be a, a meeting of the European Rhinologic Society in conjunction with the International Rhinologic Society and the International Society of uh, inflammatory diseases and uh, allergy. Uh, we believe that we will have the, ex uh, the opportunity to exchange knowledge in different aspects of our uh, specialty. And uh, our theme, uh, the, nose the, the nose across the lifespan, will be an excellent platform uh, to discuss uh, all uh, the topics uh, between different ENT specialties and subspecialties and also between uh, rhinologists and other subspecialties like pulmonologists, neurologists, uh, and uh, etc. So we believe that uh, the uh, attractive scientific meeting together with the historic uh, city, and uh, let's say after a an, an break of uh, nearly two years, not to have the opportunity to visit a, a meeting, will make uh, our uh, uh, meeting uh, uh, successful and uh, unique. Well, it sounds absolutely fabulous. You've sold it to me. I'm coming. Um, but tell me, so obviously we're so used to doing all of these conferences online. Why do you believe networking and actually attending a physical meeting is so important? You know, networking means uh, connecting, means uh, uh, communication. and. Uh, this uh, uh, networking is an excellent platform uh, to share knowledge and uh, to, to share experience uh, with uh, colleagues uh, from different places uh, over the world. And uh, through this networking, the, the knowledge can spread faster and we can approach uh, a, a, large, a larger number of uh, colleagues. And uh, so there are no geographical restrictions. Uh, there are no problems uh, uh, with uh, uh, to to get uh, more into this to, uh, to to bring more into this uh, platform and uh, it improves collaboration. So, what innovations in the field of rhinology will be presented as world premieres during the ERS meeting? We will have uh, six plenary session, uh, sessions with uh, excellent uh, speakers uh, dealing with uh, uh, biologicals in, uh, in the treatment of chronic rhinosinusitis and uh, nasal polyps. And we will, have, uh, we will uh, uh, cover also uh, uh, the topic uh, of uh, uh, presenting the highlights, let's say, of the uh, EPOS 2020 uh, document, uh, also the prevention in rhinology, uh, also uh, the, about the future, talks about the future in rhinoplasty, in facial plastic surgery and in frontal sinus uh, surgery. We will have, all, we have also 60 symposia, 40 round tables uh, covering all the aspects of our uh, specialty. And uh, for our younger colleagues, uh, they can participate in the instructional courses and they they can improve their knowledge and the surgical skills also in endoscopic surgery and facial plastic uh, surgery. 
Well, it sounds very exciting and I wish you a great deal of success with it. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Yanis Konstantinidis. Thank you so much and let's uh, uh, send an optimistic message to all our members. Uh, ERS uh, 2021 is ready and we are waiting for you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Well, you heard it from Yanis. They're ready and waiting for you. So what are you waiting for? Well, that's it for this edition of Euphoria TV Breaking News. Many thanks to my guests, to Professors Fockins and Konstantinidis, who have really sold this year's ERS meeting in the city of Thessaloniki. It has amazing ancient Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman and Jewish monuments, as you were hearing. It's also got massive history and natural beauty. And of course, it's got Mount Olympus, gorges, monasteries and clear sea waters. This is your opportunity to enjoy Greek hospitality, culture and cuisine. And as we heard, enjoy a thought provoking and wonderful Congress. So those dates again, they are September the 26th to September the 30th. So get booking now. Well, you can find more information about Euphoria and register for the Euphoria meetings on the euphoria.eu website, where you can also sign up to receive the latest news via email. You can also follow us on Twitter, the address at Euphoria. But that's it for this show. See you soon, and thank you for watching.